hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Zalem and this is my youtube channel before we get started i want to say big shout out to you datonte or tonte am i pronouncing your name right that messaged me on ig she actually gave me the idea for this video she had like some questions that she wanted to ask about my school from answering her i figured that this is value or knowledge that i can impact into other young girls who are also freshers who would like to know all these things so in today's video i'm going to be telling you everything you need to know everything you need to expect if you're getting into river state university before i start i want to preface this by saying my school didn't pay me to advertise for them my school did not pay me to do advertisements okay i'm doing all this for my granny pops just to help you guys and not be as confused as i was when i was in my first year my school has moderately good amenities especially if you're a law student very good amenities not very good but moderately we have cushion benches in our classroom air conditioner fans light bulbs other things and they work they're not fancy they're very big on dress code so if you're not dressed properly i'm so sorry my love you're gonna go home i believe by now if you've come to write your post you and me you must have seen the big poster at main gates you can't wear any cap you cannot come and wear crop top and leggings and your stomach is showing in the crop top Please, they will send you home in the early money if you're coming to school like a student you will see our dvc deputy vice chancellor at the gates he'll park his car there and he's looking at everybody that's entering if you're not dressed well you're not ready to learn so you're going to go home especially if you're a law student that is the worst another thing that i also want to address now that we're just talking about like the general overview is courtism you know there are talks or they're like rumors of speculations of cultism i'm not here to come and debunk any rumor because i'm not a cultist <laughs> i wouldn't know but i've been in school for four years going to five years now i can tell you that all through my stay i've never experienced cult activities i've never heard that cultists disrupted a classroom activity or a school day i do know that those fraternities still exist but to the extent of their activities as opposed to like maybe seven six five years ago is not as much as it used to be okay it has greatly greatly reduced those boys who are heavily involved in all those things have graduated now so it's just small children <laughs> just small children that are remaining in the school again okay? now you're a student you're trying to get admission um one thing i'll tell you is before you even write your jam please try to know the correct jam subject combinations because that affected my friends in secondary school the subject combination for law was at the time i don't know if it has changed but at the time when i wrote jam it was english literature government and crk but those my friends had put economics in place of crk and that was the combination for mass communication so they couldn't get law not that they didn't pass the cutoff mark or any of that another thing that's also important is cutoff marks how they get your cutoff mark is they divide your jam score by eight and then add your costume score to your jam score which will now be i think somewhat your cumulative score they will use to compare to the cutoff mark if it's below or if it's above beware of processing guys when you even come to school that post you me day you will see them there are plenty at ict center they will be taking your numbers taking your name giving you their own numbers those people are most of them are scammers anything you have to do that concerns ict or you need like somebody that has technical knowledge on computers please go to the ict center those people are actually there to work for you so go there ask them all your questions until you are satisfied with their answers don't leave there without asking them questions okay and one more important thing i want you to know is that nobody can give you admission yes you say oh i know some people that got admission they know somebody that knows somebody that knows the gates man that knows this one no problem please read your book if you read your book if you pass your jam if you pass your post you me you are going to get admission if you say you don't have time to read book you don't want to stress yourself you are too soft for that you're actually in the wrong institution go and learn work because i don't see why you're in the university and you don't want to start reading so go and learn work that means you don't have to read just carry yourself every day go to work and come back and be a soft girl that you want to be okay 
so next thing is your clearance process you just be doing things like paying your school fees creating your portal your portal is essentially like your is a page on the school's website that is your own like your profile on the school website so that has your cgpa it has your results is where you pay your school fees from that moment on till when you graduate is where you book your hostel so make sure when they create the portal for you you tell the person to give you your username and password some processing guys will purposely not give it to you so that you can keep coming back to them anytime you want to check results you want to pay school fees and then they will not have their own small cuts from other things something you can do by yourself another thing to know is my school is a state university the school fees that non-indigenous would pay greatly differs from the school fees that indigenous pay indigenous pay lesser because they're indigenous okay that's how it is please don't ask me don't ask me why i don't know law students engineering students medical students pay more than other faculties that's another thing to know if you've paid your school fees your acceptance fee you've done all the booty board that you need to do you're going to be at the stage where you're doing your faculty clearance this is for law students i really don't know about other people but faculty clearance is essentially where you've paid your school fees you've gotten your matriculation number they're going to be giving you departments there are four departments there's private and property law there's public law there's commercial and industrial law and jurisprudence and international law those are the four departments now those departments is not you that is going to choose you're going to even be learning the same thing with everybody however the departments they need it for administrative purposes immediately you get your matric number just head upstairs and can do your your clearance okay also for buying books i advise you to wait four weeks before you start buying any textbooks a lot of people are going to come and try to sell a lot of things to you if you're not patient to wait out and sift out the real ones from the fake ones you will fall prey lecturers self, especially the one they have their own textbooks that they need for their own courses once you read the textbook you will pass so it's better to wait for them to come and recommend the textbook and give it to the course rep the course rep will now be selling it but if you know you're the law you don't only want to pass you want to know the law very well have inherent knowledge of it don't worry there are two bookshops in the faculty anyone you like you can go there and shop for any book you want to know so you can be not then in the second okay as you started attending classes you always see people keeping seats for their friends please my sister keep seats also make sure you keep seats for your friend and when somebody comes come and take that seat people should quarrel okay it makes for character development <laughs> so make sure you keep seats for your friend don't let anybody tell you that why will you keep seats yes i'll keep seats even me till now i still keep seats for my friend if you're ready to come come let us quarrel about the seats no wahala me i'm ready now you have started going to classes you're probably coming from your home to school every day and you're trying to look for an accommodation what i'm going to tell you as regards to this is if you're in year one you don't have any siblings or family that are already in that school before you i strongly advise that you stay in the hostel just so that that one year in the hostel you can familiarize yourself with the environment know how things work before you go and start living in house as for the hostel situation hostels are fairly um, uh, it's, it's good to, to an extent but it's not that good but the hostel they mostly give to first year students is NDDC that's largely because of the space the newest hostel but in terms of sanitary condition it's very terrible i will not lie about that one i remember my first year my first week in NDDC i cried <laughs> i remember crying and i like carried my things and went home and i couldn't stay again some hostel rules are you cannot cook number one you cannot squat your friend you can squat your friend but it's a rule not to i also advise you that you don't squat your friend because <laughs> you don't know that person very well the two of you are just in the one people's recall has not started coming out i can tell you from experience don't go and squat anybody in year one you make very stupid friends in year one that maybe by year two you're not supposed to talk to them again you'll be so shocked it's the truth another concern can be light and water what i'll tell you is that if there's light there's water if there's no light 
vice versa you don't need to be bothered about light and water because there's mostly light if there's no nepa the school gen usually on from 7 pm till 11 and then they take it by 11 turn it back on by six o'clock in the morning and take it by eight so you can be assured that there's electricity to some degree another concern that people can have about staying in the hostel is food there's something for everybody in this life if you don't care what you eat you've already been eating mama put since don't worry don't go to bag it you see a lot of the things that you have been eating in bag it however if maybe you've not eaten all these things before or this is a first for you what are you going to eat don't worry my love there's kilimanjaro outside school opposite it there's genesis there's chicken republic i think like 100 naira or 200 naira from school you can go there and buy food inside school itself there are good restaurants that are upscale ones that sell very good fast food there's ibns there's golden hot there's phoenix you don't need to worry about food the only thing you need to worry about is this thing it costs money to buy good food especially in the current situation of the country we started going to school we've started living inside school we are getting pocket money every now and then we're trying to figure out how do i manage this money we're going to talk about money management let me just tell you the truth i still struggle with money management I'm managing my pocket money but what i'll tell you now above all things buy provision buy the simple provisions milk cereal you have that you can survive there are also people that sell things in the hostel all these things for sale people they will come and tempt you with beautiful gowns shoes bags jewelry i'm not going to tell you to not buy please buy okay when they give you your pocket money on monday or sunday and today is tuesday use all your money and buy that gown okay start wednesday thursday friday you don't have anything to eat when you're hungry can bring out the gown from your wardrobe and be looking at it that's what will serve as your food it makes for character development like i always say drip is eternal hmm? but hunger is temporary don't worry you can be hungry for one week but that your gown you always have it until the day you say you don't want to wear it again if you want to like start making your own money feeding money your parents are giving you is not as sustainable as you thought it would be there's small businesses you can start people sell lip glosses perfumes you can start selling that by yourself and be making little little change another thing you can also do to make some money is to do ushering jobs there are ushering agencies that cater for like events weddings birthdays funerals and join ushering agencies and make some money please don't borrow anybody's thing or beg hold your ear don't borrow or beg okay do you know what i'm trying to save you from I'm trying to save you from one very, very fantastic phenomenon called C finish. How do you balance your academics and your social life? I've said it in my previous videos, but I'll say it again. Please start with a good CGPA so that in case you want to start playing along the way, you can be afforded the liberty of playing along the way. If you start with a terrible CGPA, I feel so sorry for you. But very early on, try to know what your reason or your purpose for being there is. Is my purpose for being here to be the first first class lawyer in my family? That's what I'm here for. Please know very quickly. Is my purpose here to come and be a body, to come and glow up and look good? Please know. Is my purpose here for being here to build connections, not really about academics? Also know that, figure that out very quickly to save you a lot of stress and time don't rush into things take your time to choose your friends to do boyfriend take your time for all those things because those things can change the trajectory of your stay in school more than you think it can especially with this friendship team please take your time and choose your friends don't allow them to choose you in your class when you come very quickly the class will divide into cliques you have the academias <laughs> you have the fellowship girls you have the mbeke buddies you have the people that are chopping their daddy's money they're not following any man then you have the bad girls the bad bitch <laughs> my friend is always saying year one is the time to make stupid friendships it may sound harsh but makachuku is the truth 
it was the case for me somehow but i still have friends from you one that i'm still very tight with still now also very important don't go there with the mindset of oh you know i've been sheltered all my life getting into this school now is my one chance at being a bad girl or being a wild girl <laughs> You're not doing anybody, you're doing yourself. Let me just tell you now because if you go there and start making decisions that wild girls make, you will reap the fruits or you will harvest the consequences of those decisions. Hey, Shady, mommy say I should not be going out. That time I was in the house. When I get to school, I'll be going out every day, every day. My dear, it's not mommy's life you're living, you are living your life. There's more than enough time for you to do whatever. So that first year, just really take it to know what you want. Take it to figure out yourself because you learn a lot about yourself. The first week that I spent in hostel, I moved into school on Sunday. By Thursday, I was crying. I packed my things and I went home. That's how homesick I was. Coupled with the fact that I was just figuring out that, oh, my life is now in my hands. My decisions from here onwards would affect the trajectory of my life that thought or that realization really overwhelmed me so i cried a lot that first week in school because you know in secondary school if you don't go to class they will call your parents if you don't write your notes or you don't do your assignments you just call your parents and tell them that you're not doing your assignments now who cares about you nobody cares your lecturers quite frankly they don't even want to come and teach you if it was left up to them they will not even come by yourself your decisions will greatly impact your life so my dear be wise okay if you've gotten to this point of the video i really hope you found it helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel very very important if you have more questions please feel free to message me on instagram i have my details here i'll see you guys in my next video